Morning world. Welcome to Monday, 13th September. Today, we are actually going to shift our molos. It's overdue. Down there, I must have fit this, but I'll take a bit of that just in case it's a bit tight on the hole. You never know. Um, actually, I think I'll have the smaller bucket, not just because it's got a better leading edge than this, but also. This bucket's actually just a little bit too wide for the dumper. Whereas a smaller bucket is just right for the dumper. And it's better for leveling off. You can see the dip in the ground there, but um, it's been one of those things that every time I come over this grain with the topper, I end up sculping the top of the ridge. Um, it's an old ditch, I'm assuming, that got filled in well before my father's time, but um, I've got this material. I could lose it down on the golf course, dump it, or I can start leveling this up. Now, as soon as the cattle get here, they're going to start kicking it about. So this isn't going to be a one trip wonder where I'm just going to cure everything. This is going to be some fiddle faffing around over the next year or so. I'm probably going to have to either put a rotavator over it or something later on. Um, but I think the thing for the time being is get that in the ground and get some grass seed on it. Just see what happens. We'll play the rest of it from here. From there. Something like that.
Well, he's loaded. Time to lube up my pipe, I reckon. Right. I've got to squeeze back in there again. I don't squeeze so well these days. Years ago, no worries. I just squeeze through there like a squeezy thing. Nowadays, I squeeze her like a lumpy thing. Actually, if I cut that because he's holding the wire down that's better even a fat bloke can get through there now <coughs> famous last words oh. <laughs> Okay, right. Okay, so I didn't bevel off the end of that pipe. So this may not be that simple. I think I'm going to be glad I bought the lube. Come here. Sorted. That pipe is now rat proof. Thank you very much to whoever sent that in because now instead of having to buy two, I've only got to buy one. Sorted. That can go back up the shed. There's enough for at least ooh, three or four U's left in there. So we are going to have to come down here and dig the ditch out because the level of that pipe is probably still an inch below the silted level down there but um, we'll have the hedge trimmer on soon so yes there'll be hedge trimming videos very very exciting I'll get in here clear this out um, and then do the ditching so there's no point trying to ditch it through all that lot pointless right I gotta squeeze out of there again now
it's in the deepest bit of the hole. Probably a bit big to be a pen knife randy. Hang on a second. Ooh, fudge. Ooh. Cornish fudge. Cornish fudge. Whole milk. Dairy nut for you, Mrs. P, I'm assuming. Fudge. More fudge. That's very, very kind. <laughs> so, right, so I've got a Farber P. Keering, Dave the Builder, Spirit Level. <laughs> He's putting Dave at Spirit Level. Mr. Pasty. <laughs> and some coasters. Those are quite nice, aren't they? Mine covered those upstairs on my computer. Yeah? Right, okay. So there is a note with that. And I haven't got my glasses on, so you'll have to excuse me. I'll do the best I can. <sighs> to Farmer P. My name is Norman Truscott. I'm a farm worker who lives in the west of Cornwall in the village of St. Burian, which is roughly five miles from Penzance and five miles from the Land's End. I work on, a, on two dairy farms in the local area and a beef suckler farm near St. Ives. It's a nice bit of the world. I'd like to say I really enjoy your channel and I suppose it might be quite difficult to balance explaining your farming jobs to everyone without being too technical to non-farmers, but not to dumb it down too much for people involved in farming. I have to say that I think you do a great job of this, also great to see the fun between all the family. Please find the gift to close for you all, keyring for yourself, dairy milk for Mrs P, a box of fudge for each for Samantha and Thank Abby you. and Holly. So, all right, so these, the fudges are for the girls, one each for the girls. Oh, PTO. Having seen the... Having seen the trials that people have said to Dave, I hope he will appreciate the close spirit level. By the way, is Dave the Builder related to Bob the Builder? <laughs> if so, can he fix it? Well, he usually can fix most things. So, cheers for now. Keep it the good work, Norman. Trescott. Thank you very much, Norman. That's very, very kind of you. So, yeah, that's a box of fudges each for the girls. All right, put them back in there, in there so that I can distribute them. All right. Them what did you say? This was uh, fudge for the girls. Whole nut for you, spirit level for Dave, and a key ring for me. So, right, okay, thank you very much indeed. Right, let go in there for a minute. We'll actually put that with the box so we don't lose it. Yeah, put that in the box. Right, can I have a cup of coffee here, please? Yes, thank okay. you. Thank you. Love you. You've had another present, mate. Me? Yeah, right, here. Are. Oh, is it set in? Is it one that's like proper set in there? <laughs> Spare oh. bubble for you, that. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I, I usually use the ones that's actually set in Perspex. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so you can put them where you want and it always says level. <laughs> <laughs> I put your little thing up there. Oh, the trowel's in there, is he? Yeah, I wedged him in there, so it'll be there forever. All right, okay. I've got if you can see that, but the little trowel is up inside there. There's another one somewhere. Yeah. So I think we should jam both of them in there. Where's the other one? I don't know. 
Yeah. Are you winning? Yeah, the building control's coming out at half past twelve. All oh, right, okay. Well, not too long then. Yeah, he said it's going to rain tomorrow. I yeah. Said, yeah. He said, is that a duvet day then, is it? I said, yeah, a duvet day, unless we've got to take this roof off. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that doesn't happen. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put the kettle on. That's a good idea. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Yours is on top. Is it? <laughs> yeah, we thought that would look good. Andy, I've got a little prezzy for you. Yeah. I want to see that one. I haven't seen that one. You probably look this in too. It's ears. That's to go on your door. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I like that one. What did it say? <laughs> this beer is making me awesome. I like that. Yeah. It's in this one. <laughs> That's right. But I reckon it's true though, isn't it? True yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, we saw them at the show yesterday and I thought, well, we got home for them. Bruce is very, very dependent on the attitude of the customer. I've got to sit that on the van somewhere, haven't <laughs> I? <don't know. laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone to nick that. Just put it on the van. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find somewhere for it. <laughs> you just stick that on your door, though. I'll stick that on the, yeah. <laughs> stick that door, yeah, that'll be on my door later. Yeah, well, that's all right. Yeah, oh, cheers. We saw it there, and I thought, that. well, we had to bring you some back from the show, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Mrs P's making the coffee, so she'll be through in a minute with it, so... There's movement yeah, in there. In the <laughs> well, it's your fault, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Every day I have to put my light on earlier and it's all your fault because you're making that blink of wall iron. Getting d d d d dark. Did you get left behind? Did you? Hey, did you get left behind? Did you? Hey? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let me go. Go on, there we go. Good girl. Get up there, go on.
We've got this gate with us. Coming up. I missed it. One of them was stood in the bucket of the machine just now with Zed in the cab. They are nosy buggers. Well, we are getting there. All my molehills down there are gone. My big molehill down here is nearly gone. Just got that small pile of topsoil and clay subsoil up there, which I think I'm going to actually scratch out down along this. Um, remains of the pipeline because some of it has already sunk gone down a bit so yeah we'll use it to fill these up a bit I've let the cattle out obviously um, because they're gonna dance all over this and I'll help to pack it down and level it out and then a couple of weeks I can come out and just scratch a bit again with the machine probably with a deucin chuck some grass seed on it roll it cross my fingers It only just reaches up there, but only just is close enough. Nice. I got most. I got most of the weight on the pallet for it, so I haven't put, I haven't put it on the scaffold. Sounds like easier walking up the ladder with them. Oh, ah. Uh, uh, even if it's only half a pallet at a time, it's still better than. Oh, you're on film again, man. Yeah, they right up your shorts. I suppose you got room for that penknife in your pocket that you haven't got. Yeah. <laughs> I would offer to come up now, but I'll be just in the way. So I think I'm better off down here, out the way. <laughs> yeah, eh? I said, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why, why stop at a bit of a lifetime? I can stand here and look busy. <laughs> 